gang welcome back to pretty girl game tv where we do nothing but conduct pretty girl business okay it's your girl jenny Nay here and i'm back with another video for you guys and i purchased some new makeup okay and y'all know how new makeup makes me feel girl i can't get it girl it makes me feel some type of way so i wanted to come on camera and just review it and try it out with you guys okay it is the huda beauty faux filter foundation sticks she already has a faux filter foundation it's a liquid foundation and i love that foundation if any of you guys know it is a straight up full coverage cake face foundation okay and so when she came out with these foundation sticks her entire thing was for it to be a skin like skin finish and for me girl that is like a uh huh for huda skin like skin finish makeup like no huda has always been a full coverage caked face type of brand and that's why i love it so much because i'm a full coverage girl okay so when she came out with these foundation sticks i was like okay girl we, we gonna try it okay. you guys want to see that keep on watching Like I already mentioned, I have Huda Beauty's Faux Filter Foundation in her original liquid form, and this is how it looks here. I have two colors. You guys know that I will normally get two colors just to like mix together to get my custom match because I feel like I can just never find my complete shade that's just in one color okay so i normally get two colors for all of my new subscribers because i did get some new subscribers so if you guys don't know me i do like to purchase two different colors to match myself unless i can find a perfect match so in the huda beauty faux filter foundations i have the color 430 in gingerbread which is this one here and then i have the um 440g which is in cinnamon and this one right here now to be honest i feel like i can use 440g cinnamon on its own right now because i'm like super tan from the summer because i went to tahiti on a vacation girl psych girl i ain't going no vacation to tahiti girl let me tell y'all something that'll be the day okay when i can afford a tahiti vacation that will be the day but I'm just a nurse, okay? I'm just a little old nurse. I can continue to dream, okay, girl? So in the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Sticks, I got the exact same color, gingerbread and cinnamon. So I wanna kinda compare the two colors to make sure they are the same because Huda did uh, mention that she added, I believe it was nine new shades to the Faux Filter family in the foundation sticks, okay? So if you didn't have your foundation shade, in the full filter original now you probably have your shade in the full filter foundation stick so i actually need to check that out because i'm wondering if she added some um shade ranges um in my little shade family so uh, that would be great if she did but i will check that out at a later date so for now i did order the exact same as i already have in the original foundation i also picked up girl the new primer from huda beauty and it is the huda beauty water jelly and this is how it looks this is the front and then this is the side where it says water jelly here now i i picked this up because i am becoming obsessed with water jelly gel based primers um i feel like they just are so cooling and nice on the skin like and anytime i think of a water jelly primer i don't think of anything mattifying so I, normally i get mattifying primers because i am a naturally oily girl okay um, and water jelly primers, they're not mattifying, they're more for moisturizing, but I feel like they just evaporate and it doesn't give me this greasy, slippery feeling because I do have some like hydrating primers. Um, actually, I have a hydrating primer from Huda Beauty. It's, I think it's called the Perfection Complexion, I believe it's called, and it's the hydrating one. And I like it, but I feel like it's just a little bit too greasy and it can kind of bring out my um, oils really soon when it comes to foundation. So I typically go for mattifying, but for water jelly primers, you guys, like ever since Milk Makeup came out with their Hydro Grip Primer, like, I don't know, I just feel like it's a game changer for oily skin because it literally just melts into your skin. It doesn't feel too hydrating or slippery or greasy. So I'm obsessed with these primers, so I did purchase the new Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer to try out as well. She did come out with a brush, you guys, okay, but I did not purchase it. And I'm thinking about going back and purchasing it when we have, like, another Sephora VIB sale, if it's in Sephora. Because when I purchase the products, 
or when I purchased these products, I didn't see um, the actual brush in Sephora or at Sephora or online. Um, it was only on Huda Beauty's website. So I'm going to use her original brush, this one here, that she came out with, with her first faux filter liquid foundations. But um, I am thinking about getting that brush because Huda Beauty does make some really good brushes. It's just a little bit expensive. I think that brush was like $39. It's kind of expensive, but I feel like it's totally worth it because I love this brush as well. So she came out with brushes, girl, but we just gonna use the brush that we have today. So I wanna show you guys the packaging. It's Huda's original packaging for the foundation sticks. This is how the foundation um, stick packaging looks. It looks just like her other packaging that she normally has. It's like, you know, the regular black Huda packaging. And this is how the foundation sticks look outside of the box. That's the packaging there. And it seems like it's the exact same packaging, yeah, as the original fall filter. So box like, and um, it looks like a glass, but it's not. It's like kind of a hard plastic. So the exact same type of packaging you would get with the original foundation. And let's do some swatches. So like I said, I didn't want to compare to make sure the shades are the same. What I'm going to do is from the Huda Beauty Faux Filter, the original liquid one. And this one is the 440G Cinnamon. Let me turn around so you guys can see. So that's Cinnamon in the original liquid Faux Filter Foundation. And this is Cinnamon in the foundation stick right next to it here. And looking at it, it does look to be similar. Let's do another one just to build it up and see. Yeah. So definitely is similar. Maybe in the liquid it's a tiny bit lighter, but it looks completely the same to me. On this side, I'm going to swatch gingerbread. So this is gingerbread for the original um, liquid full filter foundation. And this is gingerbread for the foundation sticks. And on this side is the color gingerbread. This is the um, full filter in the liquid foundation, the original foundation. And this one is the um, foundation stick in the color gingerbread. So to me, the colors look very similar. Um, for some reason, the Huda Beauty Original, I feel like the colors are a tad bit, just a tad bit lighter and maybe a little warmer, but for the most part, I feel like they match up pretty good. It's safe to say if you are the um, shade in the original full filter, then you can go with the same shade in the foundation stick. The claims on the back of the foundation stick, it does say natural finish, buildable coverage and waterproof and I did also see um, when Huda Beauty launched the foundation stick uh, she talked about it a little bit and I did see that uh, she said it lasted I believe 10 hours which is pretty good for a foundation stick I feel like most foundations though now the claims are from like 16 hours to like 24 hours to long wear so 10 hours for me is a little short when it comes to foundations but this is a foundation stick foundation sticks I feel like are very different from liquid foundations foundation sticks also have like a different purpose i am going to like grade this foundation stick based on my criteria so let me tell y'all a little bit about my criteria of foundation sticks um with the foundation stick i feel like um because i'm an oily girl foundation sticks normally tend to be like um natural skin like a uh, finish or a dewy hydrating finish so me being an oily girl, I don't really judge the foundation stick on how it's going to hold up my oils because generally it's not. Um, I feel like with foundation sticks, you just have to prep really, really good for it, like, like with a um, mattifying primer in order to make it stay. You can also make it um, last long with like powder. So I'm not really concerned about, you know, the dewiness and everything like that. I do grade foundation sticks on are going to be um, the smoothness, the creaminess, um, I also like foundation sticks to be kind of my skin, but better, but because I have 
acne and hyperpigmentation, I do need some coverage. So it does need to be buildable, nice looking coverage, you guys. Okay, so like I said, those are my criteria when it comes to foundation sticks. So for the hydrating primer, I'm going to read the claims on here. It says instant dewiness, smooth finish, activated makeup grip. Okay, so basically it's having kind of the same claims as the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And this is how the primer looks outside of the box here. It has like these really cute little like um, jelly bubbles in there. So it looks like extra juicy and jelly. Okay, so let's put this on our face and try it out. Ooh, I think I put a little bit too much. So I did about two squirts. It doesn't really have a scent and I feel like it's kind of evaporating into my skin into my skin and like evaporating from my fingers it it does feel like water but it's it's almost gone like it's disappearing i, I feel like i want to put on some more so i'm going to do another pump and just apply it directly and not rub it into my hands because i feel like it literally just evaporated which is a good thing because oily skin, I feel like I would want something to absorb into my skin a lot faster and not sit on there and be greasy. You know, you know that's why I like these water jelly primers. And it does kind of have a little, you guys see that? Okay, so it is getting tacky. So it does definitely have that tackiness to it. And I feel like that's gonna help grip our foundation as well it's not as tacky as the milk makeup though it's not as tacky but it does have that tackiness to it and it doesn't really have a smell it just smells like it just smells like a primer which is good okay because we all know Huda likes to put these scents in her products okay and it smells like Grammy's purse but I do understand why it's a problem for other people because it can break your face out if you're like sensitive to, to smells or whatever but for me, it's not a big deal, girl. I feel like scents in um, makeup products and skincare products, I feel like it just gives you this luxury feeling because when you think of makeup products or skincare products that have scents, it's mostly like Dior, Chanel, YSL. You know, it just kind of gives you this luxury feel. So for me, it's not a problem, but I understand a lot of people had a problem with the Faux Filter Original, and that's why people didn't really purchase that foundation because of the scent in that foundation so this is good um also in the foundation sticks i don't smell a smell either so it's fragrance free so if you guys had a problem again with the fragrance the actual foundation sticks don't either so this is the color um cinnamon i think i'm going to go mostly with cinnamon first oh and it's and it's pretty it's pretty smooth you guys okay so I'm going to do more cinnamon than gingerbread, but I am going to mix some gingerbread in there. And it's very smooth, you guys. Whoa. Very smooth. It feels really, really good right off the bat. Okay, so buffing it in here. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely giving me coverage. But I can still see my skin shining through, which is typical for a foundation stick. Like I said, foundation sticks really give me like natural teas, like your skin, but better teas. So that's what this is definitely giving me. It's really nice though, like... And the color, the, the color match also, even though we established that in the beginning, I feel like the color match, it really just melts into my skin. Okay, so this is the first layer I have. Now, it did give me some coverage. Not quite like I want it to, though, because I do have hyperpigmentation. So I'm going to cover that up 
it did say that it's buildable so i'm gonna build i'm gonna build it up definitely but i still can see like some imperfections shining through here especially on my cheeks where i have the most hyperpigmentation i'm gonna use some more of cinnamon and a little more of gingerbread. Guys, so this is how the foundation stick is looking on me so far. I did build it up, okay, and it's looking really, really good. It's still giving me that natural, like, skin-like look, like my skin but better, but it's definitely giving me coverage because I can't see any of my imperfections. And that is exactly what I like, okay? I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera because I did just wanna focus on the foundation sticks and not anything else. And I'll come back to you guys with my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, we are back. And I'm just touching up my little messy bun, girl, because I'm in the house today, okay? Your girl is off. I took a week off of work and I am just chilling at home, not doing anything. So I didn't put any lashes on or any eyeshadow, just a little bit of lip gloss, you know, because I wanted to kind of mimic a everyday natural look because that's what Huda Beauty is marketing these foundation sticks as. It, it is very nice. I feel like my face looks so nice. It played well with all of my products, okay? So I'm feeling really good about these foundation sticks and I do feel like they're everyday wear compared to Huda Beauty's Faux Filter Original Foundation, okay? So if you guys did not try Huda Beauty's Faux Filter Foundation, the original, because it was just too cake face, girl, definitely go with the um, foundation sticks. They are more skin-like, as you can see. They look really, really good. And I feel like if you wanted to, you can build this up to like a full glam on smooth and nice like i said it does give me coverage but it does kind of like still you can see my skin through it so it's still like that skin like nice finish I, now i didn't set it i didn't put any setting spray or any setting powder on it because i do want to see the true finish and it does it does look very natural skin like so it's not dewy but it has a really nice glow i did set the areas where i put my um concealer at and where i brighten and that's all so i feel like it's giving me a really nice natural sheen i really like the foundation sticks you guys okay so i'm definitely keeping these foundation sticks I will definitely be using these foundation sticks for everyday wear. I also feel like you can just build it up and make it glam too because I did kind of build it up a little bit and if I were to pop on some like eyeshadow, some eyelashes, it can totally go from like everyday to glam, like zero to 100 girl real, real quick. Okay, I feel like it's like versatile. I feel like you can use it for everyday or you can just build it up and make it a glam day girl, okay? but. I really, really like these foundation sticks, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video, okay? And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.